I'm Storm Team 2 meteorologist Melissa Barrington, and we do have good news. The flash flood watch has now been canceled across the Miami Valley. And as we take a look here, you can see that the only areas that are still dealing with the flooding potential is to the east of the Miami Valley, affecting those of you heading towards Columbus and towards parts of western Pennsylvania. Live Doppler 2 HD still showing that we will be affected by rain today, generally light, but the heaviest will be to the east of the I-71 corridor. As you can see here, here still on satellite and radar that there's still a lot of moisture coming up from Kentucky and Tennessee so do expect to see light to moderate rainfall but the heaviest again taking its way into the mid-Atlantic states. With the rain though we are still dealing with cool temperatures and breezy conditions. Temperatures this morning have been in the 50s and we'll see high temperatures in the lower 60s for later today. We did pick up an additional inch of rain from midnight tonight till about 11 o'clock this morning and we will still add to that as we go through the day but the heaviest of the rain has now shifted its way to the east. The Reds are playing the Padres this afternoon if you're going to that game it'll be cool some scattered showers at the beginning of the game, first pitch at 410, but then being cloudy and cool throughout the rest of the game. Future track for the rest of the day shows that everything, the heavy stuff stays to our east. We'll see light rain and some pockets of rain throughout the day, possibly even a moderate downpour. Then by Monday, we'll actually be left with mainly cloudy skies. So today, periods of rain, cool and breezy, temperatures generally in the lower 60s. Then tonight, the rain becomes very spotty. Many locations will start to dry out. Overnight lows near 60. And then for your Monday, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies, cool conditions, a spotty shower with highs near 70. Improving weather conditions for Tuesday through the rest of the week, we'll see some sunshine and temperatures rebounding back into the low 80s.